Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us for North Dakota Today on this Monday morning. I'm Lisa Badeau, Abby Furchner sitting in with me once again on this Monday yeah. morning. Welcome. Thank you. It went from like never being, I know, like it went from this like big break to like now I'm here. Yeah, <laughs> kind of a regular. So Chris is going to be uh, checking in with us a little bit later in the show. I think that's the deal. We're kicking Chris out of the studio every <laughs> once in a while. So we're going to have more people filling in with me, which is always fun always to have fun. different faces in here. And I was asking you right when we were leading into the show, what did you do this weekend? Yeah, I actually went. Um, one of my good friends from college lives back in Elk River near the cities. And so we had every summer we've kind of done like this girls weekend and we usually go to a cabin. But this year we decided to go tubing down oh, the Mississippi. Fun. So we started at like one point. It's kind of like otter tail where you start at one point and then you end up in the other. And we just did that on Saturday and it was like the perfect day. It was so beautiful. The weather out was and, nice there too. Yeah, it was absolutely gorgeous and I mean it took us like three hours to do so we just literally sat in tubes on the river for three hours and did just you feel like you got a little more color I did I didn't get burnt which yeah, I was like you look good yes. yeah I didn't get burnt I actually got tan for the first that can be time how you forget sometimes when you float I have not done that in forever my right. husband was just saying we should do you know float down the otter tail and then he was like we could bring the girls I'm like I'm not sure if you bring the girl we've only done it as you know yeah, adult adults. entertainment so I don't know were there any kids on the uh, river when you know honestly it was just us okay which was actually so because I mean it's the Mississippi so it's a little nerve-wracking like yes. you don't know it was so calm it was just us we saw some like a couple jet skiers and like a couple kayakers but we just crew like in it three hours went so quick like we just like oh when you're with your girlfriends this, and you're talking yeah it was a big group of yeah. us it was like nine of us and we just tie all of our tubes together put the cooler right in the middle and nice. just went on the river yeah I mean, we got to do as much of this because you know it's like I was just looking at the calendar and I mean Friday is like August 2nd mm. I hate to say that and we're talking about we fest because coming up you have a you're going to be out at we fest yeah. for us right on Thursday I'm so excited I can't believe though it's already I know it doesn't August. seem like <laughs> August and we fest, you know, season right. that kind of, that means we don't have to say what it no, means. We just know that there's still a lot of time left to have you know, floats down the river. And yeah. we spent the weekend, at, well, actually, Marley, you know, my daughters are super social. She was yeah. invited out to, I think, Union Lake, so she wasn't with oh, us. Oh, I saw her. Uh, her Instagram. Instagram story. I know. <laughs> she looked like she had a blast, like the jumping off the dock. I was jealous. Honestly, her Insta game is pretty strong. It's strong. So that was good. And I, I usually try to take at least a couple pictures. We were out on Lake Lida with some really good oh. friends. And I must have been doing too much swimming, which is a good problem because mm -hmm. I didn't take any pictures. But a friend of mine just got a brand new awesome pontoon. So we were so pontooning fun. around and jumping off the back of that. It was kind of like jumping off a high dive. We're used to just jumping off the, you know, little speedboat. So we had such a blast. Did the... Um, they have kind of like a sandbar area on yeah. Lake Lida, so we did that and hung out, and it just was, Saturday was awesome, and then we came back, and yesterday was rainy, I guess. Right. We caught up on housework yesterday. I caught up on Netflix yesterday. Oh, well, it was a perfect <laughs> day. It was, it honestly was, like, after driving back from the cities in a thunderstorm, I was just like, just... I'm just going to stay no in fun. my bed the rest of this time. <laughs> no fun to, to drive in, in the no. rain like that. Well, okay, so switching directions a little bit. And I, right. I was thinking, should we show the video again? I think you were filling in when we showed the video of the yes. gal out in Montana. Mm -hmm. A little girl was, uh, you know, struck, bucked, uh, gored by a, a, a bison. Yep. Well, now a 17-year-old girl is being treated oh at a gosh. Bismarck hospital after being hurt in a bison attack at the Theodore Roosevelt National Park, which I think also we said, you know, like, I hope this doesn't happen in Medora because there are, you know, bison there and not just out in Mont... So this makes me think that maybe something's going on I was with, just going to say, is there something, You know, like, like the happening? breeding season or, yeah. like, when they're... Because the, the story on this, uh, apparently, this happened in the South Unit Saturday morning. The victim was just walking towards a parking lot from a Gosh. hiking trail, and two male bison mm -hmm. had just finished fighting each other. So that's what I'm going to say. It seems like maybe the male bison are a little feistier right yeah. now at this time of the year. I'm not, I don't know. We should talk to a biologist. But apparently, the two animals were on each side of the trail about 20 feet apart when the girl walked between them. Oh, my goodness. So one of the animals then charged behind her and hit her right in the leg and sent her six feet in the air. That's insane. And the girl was airlifted to Bismarck and thankfully she is in stable condition, but there's still no word yet on the extent of her injuries. And the woman who took the, these pictures that we're seeing says several hikers were not able to get back to the vehicles because of the aggressive bulls. And she says the medic helicopter was able to push the bison north of the hikers and the first responders 
so they got to get to their car safely. But I mean, I wouldn't want to get to my car after seeing that no. either. Do you remember seeing? So we're not going to show it again. Although the little girl was like a six-year-old girl, it was a she little was girl, nine, right? She, oh, nine, nine. Yeah, and she was like thrown into the yeah. air. Yeah, it was incredible, and it was it was hard to watch. But then she was o okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's why I thought it was okay to show it. You're right, nine, because I was talking about how they're kind of close, close in age in, to my yeah. my daughters being seven and eleven. But, but yeah, I would not. I would be like, I'm just gonna stay over. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay over by this tree scary, in case I have to climb it. Scary stuff. I mean, that's the whole. You know, people go to the parks and they want to get close yeah. to the, you know wildlife. But you know, and after you they were done fighting, she probably was like, okay, oh, okay. like right, that's true. fine. Let's just get to the car before it happens again. Ooh, that's scary. Scary stuff. So just kind of a reminder to keep clear mm -hmm. too. And it doesn't sound like she was like trying to go up to touch an animal no. or take a picture. She was just trying, trying to get, get to home. her car. <laughs> scary stuff. Okay, on a much lighter note, listen to this. Okay, maybe that oh was me because you're going to be singing that for the rest of your right. day. I like that song. I know a lot of people are like, stop, don't play it again. A toddler's favorite tune is now being turned into a cereal. So you can sing this song every morning at the oh, breakfast table. Oh, yay. Kellogg says it's launching Baby Shark cereal next month. The breakfast treat will be sold in Sam's Club first, followed by Walmart in September, so we can all have access to it. <laughs> the limited edition cereal will have berry flavored loops mm. and marshmallows, but not sharks. Phew, that's thankful. Thank thankful goodness. for that. <laughs> okay, I do have to say something though. Okay, because this is, oh, getting into it right now. Okay. So, should I prepare it's myself? Not, <laughs> I feel like you were like, we need to talk. We need to. It's not you, it's, it's me. Not, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> but it, it's definitely not what it was today. But before the show, I was telling Gabby in the studio that I learned Baby Shark when I was like 10 back at camp. So I think it's just so funny to me that it's become such this craze because I was like, this is a, new, a song. new song. This is not a new thing, but, but did it's you not have, this intense. But did you have YouTube everywhere you went no. on your mom's phone and now she... And you learned it at camp while you were on the bus. Yeah. So it was like something for you to do. But it was just so funny when like, little, like kids would be like, oh my gosh, Baby Shark, oh, it's so much fun. I'm like, <laughs> is this new? I would, but then I was like questioning Everything myself. Everything old is new again. Yeah, history repeats itself. It, exactly. There we go. But it's cooler now. Oh like, yeah. Like way cooler sure than cooler. when I was a kid. Like, I love we didn't have the... cereal. <laughs> We didn't like everything, material. like I would imagine, yeah, the marketing around Baby Shark is like huge. I've gone, to, I go to hockey games, Fargo Force games, and <laughs> they play Baby Shark. It's like it's everywhere. You cannot avoid it. So even though I've made it be stuck in your head, you can't avoid you it. You can't. You would start singing it somewhere, anyways. <laughs> uh, so are you a Fortnite? Player? I've never played. I haven't either. Okay. Okay. But you know what that means? We're going to stay broke for the rest of our lives because the world of Fortnite has crowned a new champion. You're like, what? I know. I was like, what do you mean? If you are an, uh, an excellent Fortnite player, you could be $3 million richer like this oh. guy. He's just 16 years old. Kyle Vuga Giersdorf won the Fortnite World Cup solo final yesterday in New York. I didn't know this. You could make this much money. Uh, he beat like 99 others by a wide margin. There was no competition here. Uh, won $3 million just playing video games. So then that led to a very lengthy discussion in the newsroom today. Like, will he ever work again? Well, he doesn't have to work, not because he won $3 million, because it's not that much, but, you know, maybe he can continue this, you know, just keep playing yeah. for a living. I don't know. Did I you know that? Do you know any of the uh, Fortnite dances? Because I was like... Oh. I know the floss, the floss, and the. That's it. Okay. As I say, there was. I was a little sad that even though he was like very happy, he, he wasn't doing do it. Floss. He did not floss. Oh come on! Are I you, feel like did you really win? Did he? Right. <laughs> exactly. But then I don't know. Maybe that's not. That's the only thing I know about Fortnite. Same. I know like Fortnite, and then there's. I, I guess I kind of understand a little bit about the game, but not really. But three million. I. I need to Sign learn more. Up, I, I need guess. to learn more. So, but well, he was 16, but there's a much younger child who is um, oh, banking yeah. money. A six year old South Korean oh. YouTube star. She has 30 million subscribers when she's six. So, what did she do? What do you do when you're a billionaire? 
She purchased a multi-million dollar five-story oh. property in what Seoul. What are you going to do with Why do you cute need that, she though? Is, though? Well, because look at this fabulous kitchen she has. Oh, she needed to upgrade. Mm -hmm. um, the pink fridge <laughs> no longer works. She needed to have... Uh, she needed to have a full... A full kitchen. Get this. So the, the building, the home that she bought, yeah. $8 million. No, no way. $8 million. Like, what is she, you know, we're watching some of the video here. My daughters know they have a lot of people they like to follow on YouTube. Do but I have not her? watched her, but okay. she, no, she is adorable. I can see why people she watch. She is very cute, but I can't Okay, so I that. think she does toy reviews. Oh, that yeah, with 13.6 million. Oh, she has two different YouTube channels where wow. she does toy reviews, which has 13.6 million subscribers, and then a video blog, which has 17.6 million subscribers. So... One of her most popular clips, which attracted over 376 million views. She made instant noodles using a plastic toy kitchen. That's kind of cool. And then slurps them down on camera. I think cute. we need to start a YouTube channel. I know. I don't know if we're cute enough, and I think we may be, uh... yeah. Wait, are we good in the kitchen? I, I think know. if you're bad in the kitchen, we might be onto something. They... The worse you are, the more people are going to watch. So actually, yeah. What let's not do to it. do. Let's do it. With and Lisa we, and Abby. <laughs> what not to do. What not to do. We'll have like the smoke alarms going up. Right. It's like, I wish we had a, I wish we had a kitchen. We need to have a kitchen here for North Dakota today. And That'd then be so fun. Try fine. to compete with that little girl. And then, and maybe then I, can, I can use it on the valley today. Yes, exactly. And then I can do all the, then I can do all the cooking segments here. And then you can sneak in during the commercial Just break. Just like I did last, yeah, last, last week. You had our... Week. Our favorite Megan Mirdal in with uh, yes. Thrifty Thursday. She was making dips in like every commercial break or long weather break. Lisa Green's in here working and we're in there like eating chips and dips. Right. <laughs> Just scarfing it down before you go back. But I know. Love it. Love it. Switching to another famous gal. I know we're both very big fans of Meghan Markle. And she is guest editing the September it edition of British Vogue. Oh, this makes sense. Because oh, she yeah. is so stylish. She, I would love to raid her closet. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. She has great taste. And, you know, I like to compare the two, but they're both so different, too. Princess Kate, Catherine, oh, yes. her style versus Meghan's style. I think, oh, I never thought about that. But now I'm, like, picturing them both the in two my head. Them. Yeah. But it makes, you know, kind of being the uh, Hollywood star and everything. For the past seven months, she's been working on the Forces for Change edition for the uh, publication, which will include a conversation between Michelle Obama mm. and the Duchess as well as an interview between Prince Harry and environmentalist Dr. Jane Goodall. Wow. So uh, teenage climate activist Greta Thunberg and New Zealand PM uh, are among 15 leading female figures set to appear on the magazine's cover. Oh, that's really cool. That is cool. But Megan won't be on the cover. She says she felt it would be boastful to include her image and instead chose to shine a light on women who inspire her. I love, I love that. that. I didn't I had not read that part. I just assumed we were going to see super fabulous pictures of Oh yeah. of Megan and, and instead her. she is like no, that is I want to put the cool. spotlight on other beautiful women. Oh, I love it. I like her. We need to get in touch with her. Yeah, let's have <laughs> Megan on the show next time we're on. There we go. <laughs> For a fashion Flyer segment. <laughs> but at least we should get the magazine and, and see some of the pictures yeah. and oh, read more. Yeah. So. Absolutely. All right, stay with us. We have a great show planned for you today. Coming up next, quite the emotional story. Mm. A baby who was brutally beaten by or accused of brutally beating. Uh, actually, let's, let's go back. We're going to be meeting a baby who's defying the odds after an alleged daycare abuse case. Stay with us.